Sometimes we want to limit the values we can assign to a variable. This is where we use literal types. So let's declare a variable called quantity and assume that the quantity can either be 50 or 100, but nothing else. Now here's the problem. If we annotate this with number, this can take any numbers, any valid numbers in JavaScript, right? So to limit the values we can use here, we use a literal type. So instead of annotating this with a type like number, we'll annotate it with a literal meaning an exact or specific value. So I'm going to replace number with 50. Now quantity can only be set to 50, nothing else. So if we set it to 51, we get a compilation error. Now you might think this is not useful. Well, that's true. But what if we apply the union operator here? So we can say the quantity can be 50 or 100. Now we can set it to 50 or 100, right? But we're not done yet. We can make this code even better. So instead of hard coding these literal values here, we can create a custom type using a type alias. So we define a new type called quantity, which can be 50 or 100. And then we annotate our variable with our new type. So what we have over here is called a literal type. Now, literals don't have to be numbers. They can also be strings. For example, we can define a new type called metric, which can be centimeter or inch. Okay, so that's all about literal types. Next, we're going to talk about nullable types.